Yo guys, welcome back to your painting PDC Joe Dark's Place video. Today guys, we're gonna be taking a look at another Weezing deck. Yes, my boy Weezing. I love to play Weezing. And today we're gonna be playing a Weezing Flapple deck here. Um, and we're gonna see if Weezing can and Flapple can work. I did post a uh, video on this deck on my Patreon a couple weeks back. Uh, but now it is time to play the deck for the main channel here and try it out. Um, this is the list I'm playing here. I do have a Crobat and an Oracorios, two prizers, but the whole idea of the deck, obviously, you spam with Weezing, and then you also have access to Flapple here to damage and add extra damage. Set stuff to be KO'd. It's a really good combo, and uh, this is another possible Weezing deck that could be something in standard. Probably not, though, but it is something to consider when playing Weezing. I do have a couple other Weezing deck ideas in mind, so trust me, guys. This won't be the last week's video, but this is the Weezing Flapple deck I'm playing today in today's PCO video. Um, yeah, so forget the video, guys. Go check to our sponsor, Cavin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking to pick up any Dark of the Blaze codes, make sure you get them over at Car Cavin, guys. Card Cavern is selling codes for the cheapest right now on the market. And of course, guys, if you're looking to get any other codes, like any V or GX codes, like the new Eternatus and Eternatus VMAX uh, codes, get them over at Card Cavern. Or maybe you're looking to get Champions Path codes this Friday. If they're in stock at Card Cavern, they'll be very scarce and they'll go quickly, probably. So if you're get, trying to get on that, make sure you get on it. Um, so yeah, if you're getting coached from Card guys, use code LDF at the checkout. Get yourself a 5% discount on your purchase. It helps the channel out a lot, helps stuff out, and helps out Card in the process too. So shout out Card guys, check them out, and make sure you use code LDF. Um, you can also check out their buy list if you have any coach of cards you want to trade in that you don't want to use, any unused codes. Give them to Card and you can get some cash in your credit. Uh, so let's take a look at the list here. So Weezing Flapple. It's an archetype I think that some people have tried out in the past. Now we're going to be trying out in their new standard format. Now Flapple's an okay card. It allows you to obviously put yourself back in the deck. Put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. It's not a bad ability. Um, but Weezing still has a few tools it can work with. One of the new cards I actually like with Weezing now is Mimikyu. Uh, Weezing did get bodied pretty hard by Malolana. But now that we have Mimikyu to prevent them from playing the heal effect of Malolana, you're actually pretty well off. And you also have Mr. Mime still, which is really good if your opponent is playing a Scoob Up Net Heavy deck and they end up benching goons and stuff. Mime will swallow them whole by blocking them from being able to be Scoob Up Netted, which is good. Um, I'm also playing a Baby Blown. Trying this out. We have Horror Energy in the deck, so we might as well play Baby Blue Cephalon as an extra spread option. We also have Mew. Um, there's not really any other good, good attackers to put in here. That's kind of one of the only issues with Weezing. You don't have an insane amount of good attackers, good spreaders anymore, especially with Coco. You know, no Tapu Coco Flying Flip. There's a Noivern, but even like the Noivern's not very good. Spell Tag rotating also kind of hurt Weezing quite a bit. Uh, Weezing might get better with that new Goggles card, which uh, we'll definitely be trying out when Vivid Voltage drops. I'm going to the rest of the deck here. Just It's a Flapple deck, so we do have to play a lot of Ball Surging cards, I feel like, to constantly try to loop as many Flapples as we can. Got two Turf Fields to support it, four Quicks, two Comms, four Great Balls, one Evo Incense, two Ornery Rod to get our Weezings back. And uh, I'm playing a lot of draw sports. I got four Research, four Marnie, two Erica, two Boss. Um, you could go down to one Boss, uh, but Boss Order can be useful. If you trap something in the active and get some extra damage off with Weezing, that's always good. Uh, and I believe you, the Boss is actually a pretty useful card in this deck. But you could go down to one boss if you really wanted to, but I am playing a lot of draw supporters. We also have Orcorio and Crobat, so we have a good amount of draw in this deck. Got an air balloon just to have a way to move something. Two triples for the Weezing, four Horror Energy. Um, you know, if you go first, you can Horror Energy the Weezing, get some 20 damage on the active. You can also use Horror Energy with Baby Blown and try to build it up. If Weezing lives a turn somehow, you can try to get a Horror Energy on a Baby Bull Cephalon and build up that Fireworks Bomb turn if you can. And then we got four twins for the Weezing. I will say, I kind of wish we had Special Charge in the form. I feel like Special Charge would be a really good card for standard right now, but yeah, without special charge, you do run out of energy pretty quickly. That is one of my issues with this deck is finding your energy at the right moment. Trust me, you'll see what I mean. Um, but yeah, let's go show off this deck. See if we can win a game with Flapple and Weezing today. All right, guys, getting into the first match with our Weezing Flapple deck. We'll see if we can win a game and how good this deck is in our format right now. All right, we do lose the coin flip, which is fine. We can always go for that turn one foul loader of worst comes to worst, which is one thing I like about playing Weezing. Okay, so let's go coughing. See what we can do. We'll see what we're playing against here too. You never know what this could be. Spirit Tomb. Well, I mean, that's a pretty good matchup. Spirit Tomb is definitely a uh, good matchup for us. Ooh, Catex Are you serious? That's a little annoying. Um, kind of need the turf field, so that Catex is kind of kind of cringe. How many stadiums do we have? We have two. I'm going to get double coffee, I think. And then we're going to quick ball away. I think we just say, say bye to the turf field. I'm not going to bother putting it. He probably plays two anyways. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just get an apple in. We probably can use the apples here. Well, Marnie and hope for a good hand here. Hopefully, Marnie doesn't give us a bad hand like it usually does. Okay, that's not terrible. Um, 
We'll do this, and then we'll foul loader. And this way, I mean, if he damages me, he might knock himself out. He doesn't have Spike Mouth, so I don't know if this is actually an Eternatus deck or not. Unfortunately, our Marnie did give us a bad hand, which is just amazing, but it looks like he's filling his bench up with low HP Pokemon. This still could be an Eternatus deck, though, I'm assuming it might be. Yeah, and Great Balls. I don't know. This, this feels like it's an Eternatus deck. Yes, it is. It is Eternatus. Well, at the very least, he's benching a lot of low HP Pokemon. And a Crobat. Yep, there it is. Okay. Now, the only thing that's standing in our way from winning this game at the moment is not having a bad hand and being in top deck mode because of a Marnie. Ain't that the story of the standard format right now? Bro, why can't Cynthia just get reprinted? <laughs> or even then, just uh, Cynthia should have just replaced Marnie altogether. Okay. Oh, I was like, what? Are, why aren't they confused? Bro, I, I didn't. I was like, wait, what? Why aren't they confused here? No, but they are confused. It was like kind of weird. They're actually gonna go into Crobat. That's interesting. Oh, they're gonna switch. Why, like, bro? How do these people always have their switch in their hand? I don't get it. Well, they're gonna get killed by Weezing at least, which is good. They didn't get energy actually and play on the Eternatus, which is also huge. Okay, can we please draw a supporter? That can get us Crobat. I don't think we have much of a choice. This game ain't throwing me no bones today. We can get Oracorio. I think we just go Crobat. Alright, come on. Don't whiff here. There we go. Probably gonna Marnie them again, to be honest. I'll see if this can get us a Flapple. Hmm. No. I'll take the other Weezing. Oh, no, it did get us a Flapple. Okay, I'll take the other Weezing, though. I don't really... Well, I guess we gotta Flapple the active. Yeah, we get, we'll probably get one off the Marnie, though, right? I probably should have went Flapple there. Yeah, we didn't get one. Okay, we're just gonna ditch the turf field. Um, we'll get Oracorio, sure. Draw three cards. I know we have two two prizes in play, but I don't know. I got some confidence that we can win this. I got the confidence. Might as well knock out the active here. Busted. So the horror energy kind of came in handy. Look at that. Uh, speaking of horror. All right. Let's see what they do here. All right, they're going to bring me the Spirit Tomb, which I'm happy they did. Um, yeah, we'll just Splattering Sludge knock it out next to the Detention Gas. All right, cool beans. All right, the good thing is they didn't build up an Eternatus. Now, dealing with Eternatus VMAX is not easy. It does have a lot of HP. And honestly, maybe benching these two Pokemon was a bad idea. But we'll see. I mean, the thing is, though, if they just keep filling their bench up, we can win by just knocking them out. Dealing with this thing is going to be kind of hard, though. We might need to bench Baby Blown. We don't have access to that right now, though. Okay, there's a research. We aren't getting KO'd this turn, which is good too. Oh, they have hammers, bro. Why do you have hammers and spirit team in your like why like hammers, bro? Hammers. It's our first twin energy though. We still have a lot of energy left, not that bad. They aren't benching anything, which is kind of an issue. We need them to bench more Pokemon here. They attach the crowbat. We could trap the Trubbish. I don't know. There's an Applin. That's a good top deck. If only they didn't do Camer there, and that would have been nice. We can boss this. We can knock this out. We could bring in the Crobat. No, I think we just want to hit the active. There's not much I can really do. I want to save the Ornery Rod. Ugh. Okay, let's just do... Bench this. We might have to just go Mew next turn. We'll just... Do splattering sludge. I want to say the Orny Rod to put the Weezing back, but we also need to get Twin Energy or Triple. We should be able to find one though. We have Oracorio and Research most likely. Look at that, they're benching more Pokemon. That's what you like to see. So that's how we're going to win this, right? They do have annoying cards like Crushing Hammer. They are playing a turn just, which is, you know, not really something Weezing can take out because it has, you know, let's see, 340 HP. But if they keep benching more Pokemon, which they have to do to damage me, that's not too bad. I am scared of a boss's order. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I shouldn't have Corio and Crobat. We'll see if that pays off or not. If again, if they just keep putting Pokemon on their bench, though, I mean, we can just win. I don't think they'll play any more Spirit Tombs, though. Okay, yeah, there's a Garboder. We could try to trap that, maybe. They are down three of their hiding energy. They're actually out of energy, hiding energy. So maybe trapping Garboder is good. Okay, they're gonna Quick Ball. See a Marnie get discarded. Another Turntus. I was hoping they'd get another Spirit Tomb, but I mean, they kind of probably realize Spirit Tombs. Not really going to be good for them. Okay, let's see what they do. Yeah, turn to... Any more low HP Pokemon? No, no, just a Dread NGX. 
Well, I guess if we knock out Garboder and Trubbish and Crobat, we win the game. So there's that. Alright, hopefully we don't have energy here. I mean, I kind of have to do Ordinary Rod. Alright, well, don't have to worry about that. Let's go here. Research. Let's see what we get. Okay, we do get a Flapple. That's good. Um, Great Ball for Coughing. Let's go. Could take Blacephalon, but I don't think we're going to be able to build up in time. They're probably going to boss me next turn, too. This might be our last Dance of Ancients. Okay, we didn't get another Applin. That's unfortunate. Okay, I think I'm just going to hit this. That Crobat's going to be the hardest thing to KO, I feel like. I'm going to put the Balloon on the Crobat, and I'm just going to... Splattering Sludge? Hope for the best. Might Mew next turn? I don't know yet. I don't. The issue is, we didn't get another Applin. Maybe I should have done Flapple before Corio, but I don't want to draw that again. So I was like, alright, we'll just... I don't know. I probably should have... No, but at the same time, we need another energy. I think it was actually fine to go for the uh, or Corio before the Flapple. But yeah, we can win this. We just gotta knock out these two and this, which isn't too hard. We just need to not have Boss's Order be a problem? I don't know. This is going to be a close game. It's going to be a very close game. We can go Mew next turn, which we might have to do. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to draw the Weezing and the Energy here. Oh, they bench a Zigzagoon. So they do have more Pokemon that they... Okay, there's more Pokemon for us to knock out. Don't mind if I do. Nope, there's a boss. Why would they put 10 damage on me if they're already going to knock me out for weakness? Did they forget about weakness or something? We actually get to keep our Weezing alive, which is actually low-key pretty good. They're, they are just one boss away from winning now, so... Yeah. Maybe benching the two wasn't a good idea. I don't know, to be honest. Oh, we would have drawn Weezy. Would you look at that? Alright, well, not much I can do. We just got a Marnie and hope we don't give him a boss. Probably do, though. We didn't even get an energy off of that. Yeah. That should be about game, then. I don't think we can recover. There's the energy. It's just a little bit deeper in the tech. Rip, bro. Well... Pretty much all she wrote. If we got the attack off and they didn't boss up my Crobat this turn, I think we would have been able to maybe squeak out a win here, assuming we didn't whip the energy. But we did whip the energy, so... Yeah. I think it's, like, impossible to win now. Unless... I don't know. We'll see. Just not being able to get that 20 spread off is really killing us right now. I mean, the Eternus matchup is still really hard to beat, in my opinion, because... Yeah, they fill their bench with a lot of Pokemon, which is good for Weezing, but at the same time, they, they, there's no way Weezing will ever be able to knock out this thing. It's got 340 HP, so you're always hitting their bench. And, I don't know, things can go wrong pretty quickly. We just gotta hope they don't have a boss here. But these Eternus decks just play four boss now, because because boss is order. It's, it's, it's broke the game. Yeah, there's a Crobat. I will definitely find the boss's order, so we've, we definitely lost this game. I don't know. Maybe benching the curb on the record was a bad idea, but we needed to keep up the consistency. Not much I can do. If we just had a better setup here, we actually might have been okay. If we got a better hand, they didn't boss up Crobat potentially. We probably would have won. Crobat would have been a goner next to Flapple. I don't know. We really just needed to get that 20 spread off with the Splattering Sludge. Oh, they don't have a boss. Okay, so we live a turn. We maybe can squeak out a win. I don't think we can do enough damage, though. We got a Flapple, which is a good start. Yeah, we'll see. If we had a way to boss something here, we could have, like, bossed the Eternatus. That's one way I could see me winning this. I don't think we can, even with Flapple's help. We're only going to be taking three prizes. We can't knock out the Garboder in time, which is the issue. It's good that they didn't boss me, though. It makes me feel a little bit better. So we need to get Twin Energy here gonna thin out the deck as much as we can put as much pokemon at the bottom of the deck so we can try to get twin energy off this marnie i right, come on <laughs> bro with the twin energy whiff oh my gosh well that is all she wrote folks we have lost we've whiffed the twin energy twice in a row marnie is a terrible draw supporter <laughs> what else can i say i mean yeah we honestly could have won this. I mean, there's enough Pokemon on their bench for us to knock out to win the game, but... Yeah, we got super friggin' unlucky. Whipping energy twice in a row like that is just never fun. 
that's a shame. That is such a shame. So close. So dang close. But no cigar. Energy whiffing is real. All right, guys, getting into another match here with our deck. Hopefully things go a bit smoother this time and we can actually set up, take, win a game, and not whiff energy when we need it the most. That'd be great. One card I think that honestly should get reprinted is Special Charge. I think Special Charge would be a really good card to have back in our standard format. Um, in my opinion, Special Charge should be reprinted. I I would vow for a Special Charge reprint. I think Special Charge, great card to, great, great card to reprint. So we'll see if Pokemon would actually reprint that. But I, I do think Special Charge would be a, a great card to have back in our standard format. Um, would have been really nice in that matchup. All right, let's see what we're playing against. Could be a Moist Mewtwo deck. Actually, I'm going to use this opportunity. I would get an Applin, but I'm actually going to get the Baby Blacephalon and get energy on it. I might as well take advantage of our early energy attachment, because why not? We'll just pass. All right, we'll see where this takes us. We might get knocked out. I don't think we will, though. They started with a Snom. Actually, Snom gets one shot by coughing, which is, or wheezing, sorry, which is pretty good. Okay, looks like they're playing an Inteleon deck here. I thought it was going to be a Moist Mewtwo deck, which I would have preferred, because Mewtwo is weak to Psychic. Uh, they got rid of a Marnie. They get Inteleon. All right, this is winnable. Um, this is definitely a winnable matchup. We gotta hope they bench a lot of low HP Pokemon. Dedenne coming down good. They bench another Snom. That's good too. And we definitely need to get Mr. Mime down so they can't do Zigzagoon. We need Mime and Mew. Our bench might be a little bloated. I actually don't know if we'll have room for Flapple. Look at that beautiful bench. Beautiful bench. Well, uh, they might scoop him at the active and not rebench it, which is an issue. That's a good bench though. Look at all that. All these low HP Pokemon. Ooh, they're gonna get another goon. Yeah, we need quite a bit of stuff here to really lock them. Um, to be honest, that might be a little hard to do. I actually don't think I'm gonna play the Ornate Rod either. I don't think we need the Flapple back. We'll see what happens. I think having the Blown might be really useful as long as it doesn't get knocked out. Yeah, we need Mew. We need Mime in play. Our bench might be a little fat. Okay, they do have a Switch. They have a Research too. They ain't stopping. They ain't stopping. Inteleon's a little scary. I mean, this has been the active. It actually can't self-accelerate just yet. They're probably gonna hit the Blacephalon. No, the other coughing. Okay, well, we need to definitely get a Mew down. Oh, there's Mr. Mime. Yeah, I'm not gonna play the Ornate Rod. I'm not gonna... Nope, there's no point. I right, see. Come on, give us a good hand. The energy whiff is real. All right, we got Weezing. We'll take it. I'm gonna Evo Incense for another Weezing here. Yeah, we didn't get the, uh, didn't get the Mew. Maybe this get us Mew, though. No. We got Crobat. We could bench Crobat here and try to draw into the Twin Energy. Nah, we'll take the Applin. I actually don't think we need Crobat just yet. Put that there. Yeah, I don't think we need the Crobat. Well, at the very least, we don't need to do Splattering Sludge just yet. Their bench wasn't even damaged, so I'd rather wait a turn. It's not the end of the world. I guess maybe we could have put the energy on the active so they can hit me, but then they horror enter. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess it would have been fine because they put the energy back in my hand. I think they do take the 20 damage, too. But we're not trying to knock out the Inteleon. We're trying to knock out their bench. Okay. The mine being in play, though, is going to be really good so they can't scoop up net. Oh, they bossed the Bulcephalon up. Ooh, they don't like that. We only have one air balloon. And I don't know if it's in the deck or not. I can't remember if I saw it. Yikes. Bucket. Well, one energy. Hopefully they don't have a switch and telling on VMAX and another switch. I mean, that'd be a pretty insane hand if they did. And we don't want to see our thing get knocked out. Scoop up net. That's going to fail. It's actually, ooh, maybe we should, maybe we should avoid benching Applin until we get Mew in play because they could just snipe it with Inteleon. Yeah, probably don't want to bench Applins at all. Okay, there's a quick ball. Getting Lapras. Now I wish I attached to the Blacephalon. Ooh, another Dedenne. All right. There's our win condition. Ooh, the de that when the Dene has to get rid of your two Pokemon. Why didn't they just play Eldegoss then? I don't get that. I don't know. Well, they got rid of their two other draw cards, which is good. Alright, well, it looks like our boy Bulcephalon here is a goner. Not much I can do about that. Nope, oh, there's Mew. We'll bench that, I guess. Hope they don't have another boss. Still gonna attach to this. I'm just going to do research. I'm not even going to bother with Marnie. I don't trust Marnie anymore. It just gives me too many dead hands. Um, got about 20 somewhere. Might as well hit the Dedenne. 
Our ring addition is to wipe out their bench. That's our game plan. I pass. The reason I put the energy on this, by the way, is if he uh, tries to knock out Mew this turn, he might have another boss. So if he tries to snipe the Mew... Okay, no, he doesn't. Okay. Yeah, he'll knock out my Blown. That's fine. I'm actually hoping he Hydro Snipes. He's probably not going to. What? He actually does? Okay, thank you for the energy. Wait, do I keep it? No, I don't. Wait, what? Okay, that's kind of... I actually thought I would keep the energy there. Alright, whatever. This is bringing Wheezing. That's kind of weird. I swear I would have cut the energy, but eh, whatever. It is what it is. Let's go here. We have an Erica we can play. Hmm. Probably wanna... I think I want to Marnie them, though. Look at their hand. It's huge. I didn't get an Applin. That sucks. Or a Flapple, sorry. Oh, here we go. Let's get that Splattering Sludge off. Getting a lot of damage on the board, which is good. We're taking a prize, which is nice. Uh, I can't remember what we prized. Marnie? Alright, more supporters than Marrier. Probably gonna Erica next turn, though. And then hopefully calm for coughing. And all is good in the hood. Let's we'll see what they do. Yeah, just a max bullet. Alright. So at this point, it becomes a race to see if we can, uh... We can win the game in time. I think we can, though. I think we can. Thanks to the help of Flapple. Should be chilling. Um, it also might be a race until they knock out the Mew with a boss. That's when things get bad. Oh, there's that. Actually... I'm gonna get a coffee in here. I think I prioritize coffee more than just getting 20 damage on something. Just want to make sure we have another coffee. We'll play the Erica too. Okay, we got Oracorio. We could bench the Oracorio. In theory, it could be a good card to have in play. Because it can't get knocked out in one hit by Inteleon without his goon ping. We can actually knock out their goon. Okay, we can do a lot of stuff. I think we just want to apple drop these to Denes. Do we want to play Oracorio? I don't know, man. Last game, you saw those two prizers kind of hurt me. I don't know if I want to bench it or not. It might be a bad idea. What am I even looking for, though, Corio? I might wait a turn to bench it. We can hold off on benching it as long as we can. Well, I still have to do two prizes. I think we can win in time, too. But if I draw more cards, I make it Marnie. We're putting three twins at the bottom of the deck. If we get Marnie here. But I guess that makes Oracorio a better card. Okay, fine. We'll bench Oracorio. Just because it might help us if we get Marnied, I guess. I don't know if that made any uh, made a difference. Did get an Applin. We'll just Splattering Sludge then, I guess. We're knocking out Goon. We're going to win in a couple turns. Actually, will we win next turn? No, I don't think we can. We needed an... I think we needed a Flapple to win next turn. Oh, there's the boss. Knocking out the Mew. All right. Mew is going to be a goner now, unless we can get lucky. Okay. Hmm. I think we can still win this, though. As long as we don't bench anything that get Hydro Snipe. Or Max Bulleted knocked out. Wait, do we win here? Boss up to Dene. I think we're close to winning. Okay, we can boss up the Dene. Oh, we have game. Yeah, we have game. Yeah, look at that. We won. Right? We go Spider Sludge. That Dene gets knocked out. All right, look at that. We actually won. Wait, did we? Yeah, yeah, this Dedenne goes down. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go! Weezing took a dub there. And, uh, yeah, pretty straightforward match. This is what the deck is trying to do the whole time, was try to wipe out their entire bench. Not bad at all. I like it. Uh, we'll do one more game of the deck, I guess. All right, guys, get into the match with our Flapple Weezing deck here. We'll try one more game, see if we can win it. We came close to beating a turn to so we beat an Italian deck. We'll see if we can take out another deck. I don't know. We're probably going to fire deck. If we're playing against Baby Blounds, though, I think that's good. But Baby Blounds is a matchup Weezing can beat. Um, it's probably a favored matchup, I would say. So if it's Baby Blounds, that actually wouldn't be too bad. We'll see. Come again. This guy's a Meow. Oh, no. Uh, hopefully he fills his bench up because I don't know if we can beat a Meowth VMAX deck if I'm gonna be blunt with you. I'm gonna keep it 100. I think we actually just hold this hand, just file loader, hope for the best. I kinda wanna keep this hand, bro. We got the Flapple, the Weezing. Might as well hold the hand. I guess we could have Marnie them. They do have a pretty big hand, but. Like, you don't wanna. Uh, this hand's fine enough. They can't. Uh, this thing has a 4 attack cause. They're not gonna be able to attack me anyway, so it's not the end of the world. 
We'll see if they can attack me. This thing is kind of scary. It does have 300 HP. It's actually a bit easier to knock out than the other stuff. All right, there's one Pokemon coming down to Dene. You love to see it. They do lose. Okay, Malolana is a good card to see gone. Boss, Welder, Switch, Scorch. Pretty good to Dene for me. But the problem is they are playing Senescorch. Senescorch is a pretty bad matchup, I feel like. It's super bulky, and Senescorch really doesn't have to bench too many Pokemon to just run me over. It's the only issue with Weezing right now. Okay, they are gonna quick ball for Senescorch, yep. Again, we gotta hope they bench some, you know, more Pokemon we can easily knock out with Weezing. Because right now, there's nothing in play that we can easily KO other than Dedene. There's a Calm. Oh, what are they getting? Okay, Victini, that's good. That's an easy knockout. 190 HP is pretty low. Alright, okay. There we go. Their bench is literally full of Pokemon we can knock out. Alright, that's how we can try to win this. Try to knock out their bench. That's our game plan. Try to knock out their bench. This Meowth is kind of annoying, though. One-shot me. Oh, they go into Victini. Do they have... Oh, no, don't tell me they have a knockout. They haven't played a supporter yet. Do they have a Welder Twin Energy? No, they don't. Okay, good. It's actually good we get the hit on this. Because, again, we want to try to knock this out. So, let's go here. Here. Uh, Quick Ball. Coughing Blown is prize rip. I was hoping we actually didn't have Blown prize. We could have used it. I wouldn't have attached to it though, because I want to save my twin. Okay. Not the most amazing of hands. That's Marnie for you. What we'll is Apple Drop? Hit the Dedene. Try to get some damage on it now. They need three energy to knock me out, I think, right? 30, 60, 90. No, they don't. They only need two energy to knock me out with energy burst. That's not good. They're done a welder though, so that's good. I might have to try to get Mimikyu in play because they do have access to Maulana, which is not ideal. Okay, do they have a Welder? We'll see. I mean, again, these Welder decks are tricky. Your opponent can beat you by just not benching that many Pokemon. Uh, but if they do, bench, you know, Dedenne and Crobat. And I guess in this case, Victini, the matchup is a bit, a bit easier to beat. Unfortunately, our hand is not good, and it looks like we are going to see them knock me out with Energy Burst. All right, 30, 60, 90. Nope, Spreading Flames. You'll love to see it. All right, we're actually in a bit of a better spot now. Okay, this is good. We're in a better spot. Okay, why are they both be active? I don't get that. They should have built up a Scorch. They could literally run me over with one Scorch here. Evil Incense for Weezing. You'll love to see it. So we did get knocked out. We would have had the Weezing anyways. Okay, so let's bench this. Bench this. Marnie. See if we can get Mimikyu and Applin. We need to get a good hand off this. And there we go, the start of not getting a draw supporter. How many do we have? We have Crobat. We have quite a few draw supporters. Hopefully we can find one. I don't even know if I want to do Apple Drop. Nah, we'll do it. We do want to get some damage. I'm going to keep hitting the Dedenne. I don't want to hit the active because my opponent does another Malolana. All that damage is for nothing. So let's go Spidering Sludge here and hope for the best, I guess, in a couple turns with our top decks because... Right now, it's not very good. We do have a boss, so at the very least, we can boss and knock out the Dene next turn. So that's at least something. Or do we want to just try to kill this? How much HP? 80? Flapple? Eh, I think we're 10 damage short of knocking out the Victini next turn with a Flapple drop. We'll see. They could Malolana this, though. They could have an Eldegoss and Malolana in hand, but I guess then they can't attack me without a switch. So maybe that's actually not too bad if they don't have a Malolana. Let's see what they do here. Hopefully Turfield sticks around. We need it to kind of thin out the deck, too. No. Okay, they just knocked me out. All right. So, let's see what we draw. We might have the boss of the Dedenne here if we don't get a good top deck. Come on, give me something. A ball search card for Crobat or, or Corio would be great. Come on, a supporter. Okay, uh, there's a ball searching card. We don't have our Corio. We have Crobat in the deck, though. Oh, here goes nothing. Yeah. That sounds like a game of PCGO for you. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we're gonna have to boss up. Yeah, we're gonna have to boss up the Dene. I think we try to get some prizes here. Rip in the chat. Okay, I'm gonna still do Ornay Rod, I think. I still wanna get a Weezing back in the deck. I actually don't wanna do Flapple just yet. I guess we could have knocked this out without doing boss. Nah, I think I think it's fine. We still wanna get this Dene out of here. Okay, Great Ball's good or Corio one time. Horror, we can attack with Mew. We can't do Flapple because if we don't draw a Pokemon, right, we just lose. So, not a good idea to bench Flapple. Come on, give me a top deck, man. Ugh. Dead drawing is so fun. 
The Victini gets knocked out next turn, though, by Mew, which is good. We have the Apple in it, though. It's kind of awkward. But all we gotta do now is knock out the Crobat and the Victini, we win the game. So, that's our game plan. We can reach it, we just need to not top deck out of it. Okay, there's a knockout. I mean, they still have a long way to go, right? They still have to take four prizes. This Victini's going down, then we send the knockout Crobat. That shouldn't be too hard, especially if we can set up a Weezing here. All right, well, here we go. It's risky to do this, because if we do get Crobat, we can't trust many cards. We have to. Okay, we didn't get a Crobat. We do get a Coffin, though, which I will take. It's at least something. Gotta flat pull this, man. It's the only way to knock it out in one hit. I don't want to risk a Malolana. I ain't trying. We could let it not attack me. They'll just go into Sun Scorch, so we have to just try to hit this and knock it out, right? They're just gonna retreat Sun Scorch and just not bother with that. All right, come on, give me Oracorio. That's fine. Okay, about time. We gotta research, All right? Not Oracorio, but we'll take it. We will take it. We're still in this game, maybe. What, do they even have the VMAX here to knock me out? Oh, good thing they didn't make Charm the Crobat. That's what I would have done. I would have charmed the Crobat here. Okay, they're gonna get an Eldegoss. Okay, yeah, I'm glad we went with that Mew route there because they could have healed the Victini. Let's see what they're doing. What supporters do they have? They have a Welder? Okay, that's not a research. It's only three cards. There's a ch I don't know, maybe they do with Sun Scorch here. If they whip the VMAX and they don't knock me out, that's really good. That's like really, really good if they don't actually kill me here. Oh, no, they can, they can do Burning Tail. Okay. We're super close to winning this though. Very, very close to winning this, in fact. I really wish we got Oracorio at the prizes, though, not gonna lie. I really wish we had Oracorio here. Just to help with the draw engine. At least we got a research, though. Unless they stand me to two and I get a bad hand. Oh, they got the Senna Scorch. Not that it matters anymore. This thing, the Sunny V will still knock me out. But now we gotta deal with this. But all we have to do is knock out Crobat and win the game. That is not that hard to do. I say that, but it really isn't that hard. We just gotta keep Weezings up, and this thing is going to go down in a couple turns. So, yeah, we just gotta hope to keep spamming the Weezings, and we're chilling. Well, Flapple, too. Wish we still had access to Mew. We still have a lot, though. We could still always use Mew if we had to. Ooh. Okay, that was a good draw. Here's what we'll do. We'll calm this back. It's gonna flat out get Weezing. Actually, yeah, we're gonna get Weezing. I could get Coughing. Maybe I should've, because Great Ball can get me Weezing. I have more Weezings than Coughing. Nah, maybe I should've done that. Oh, there's Crobat. I don't really see a harm in playing it at this point. They are down to boss and Eldegoss, so they might not be able to do much here. So let's try to draw as many cards. There we go. Okay, not the ideal discards. We're going to be out of horrors almost. Okay, as long as we have another coughing. The yeah, Aplin's good too. Um, Get rid of Marnie. Get another Aplin. Okay. Well, turf field too. Just thin out the deck. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Splattering Sludge, hit this Crobat for 20, 30 with the, with the Detention Gas. And it's got 50 HP, so in order to win this, we have to go double Flapple and get a Weezing in the active. That's how we're going to win. There's no other way I think I can damage the uh, Crobat. All right, hopefully they bench another Pokemon. No, they don't. I was going to say we want a big Erica here. So all we got to do is find Weezing. Uh, we are pretty thin on our Weezing out searching cards, but we'll see. We just gotta get Weezing to win this game. That's not Weezing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's in the deck. Oh man. Here we go. Oh, we didn't get it there. Alright, well. We have another shot. Come on, Weezing one time. Yes, let's go! We've won! Whew, what a close game. I wonder if they would have had the boss in their hand. We would have lost if they if they had boss. I still think benching the Crobat was a good play to try to get the energy, but yeah, kind of close. All right, let's just hit this Crobat and win the game here with Weezing Flapple. There we go. And that'll be that probably for today's PCO video, guys, on the Weezing Flapple deck, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me in the reaching 11,000 subscribers. We just hit... 10.6, so I guess hoping the road reaching 10.7. But that was a pretty good game there. We lost to Eternatus. We almost beat Eternatus. It just, again, if we weren't whiffing energy, we probably would have been able to beat the Eternatus matchup. We're 10 coins out by a pack. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video on Weezing Flapple. 
Not too sure if I like this build over the other Weezing decks I have. I do have another pretty cool Weezing deck build, and this one actually has a good backup attacker, as opposed to just trying to use Flapple to add extra damage, so it is what it is. But that'll be it for the video, guys. Once again, if you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video. Uh, check out card comment down below if you want to get any codes over there. Use code LDF at the checkout. Um, there should be a video probably on Thursday um, on my Omnipoke Pokemon League Magic and Celios network. So keep your eye out for that. It's going to be a double upload day. I'm not going to post that as my regular video. It's going to be a double upload. So you'll have two uploads to work with. But thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.